Hey everyone, welcome. It's Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> and I got a cut on my fingers, so I gotta go to practice later. It's gonna be hard to play. <laughs> I can't even play a chord. But how's it going everybody? I'm gonna put the guitar down. I'm gonna do one of those crazy abstract things, show you how I do it in real time. One of these, uh, you could put these anyway, hang them anyway. This was made like this. Looks kind of cool. I'm gonna show you how to do it in real time because all, all the videos I put on YouTube were like time lapse. So they kind of went pretty quick, really fast. Uh, so I'm going to slow it down here. This is just a quick video on how I do those. Uh, I've got my neon colors here and black. Black is going to go on last and then you'll use something to scrape your design in. It's really cool. Uh, uh, idea that I, I accidentally came ran across it uh, about a year ago let's put in some colors here so this is this is also the fun part here just getting a bunch of colors put on the canvas I didn't gesso this see how loose it is when you don't gesso your uh, canvas I don't like to uh, work on a, a loose canvas, <laughs> not anymore. But I'm using, this is neon pink. Pink is really good to use on this technique because it, it, it shows through pretty good when you put the black over it. And then when you scratch the black, then the pink really shows up pretty good. And so does purple, believe it or not. They, All the colors show up pretty good. Now, when you're doing this technique, just, just put the colors up there any way you want. Uh, and I'm using, check it out. I'm using uh, Basics Acrylic. These are the neon colors, okay? Fluorescence. I didn't even put the fluorescent green down yet. This, this, I really like this fluorescent green. Let me put it up there for you. Uh, the one thing I noticed about green, it doesn't look, I don't like putting it right next to uh, pink. So I'm going to put it up here because that looks like a watermelon then. So I'm going to put the green up here. I keep red away from the green. <laughs> uh, I learned that by doing a lot of these. So This is something fun that even if you don't want to do this, your kids might enjoy doing this, okay? Because it's something easy. A kid could do this, but even a, you know, a grown-up could do this, and you can actually expand on the idea uh, make it better right now I'm just kind of doing squiggly lines on it uh, I don't have the patience to uh, make it look perfect I mean I kind of did a design here I did like a, a, a park a walkway going off into the distance with trees going off into the distance I mean that's what I came up with. I did that earlier. I put it on as a uh, time lapse, but I, I don't have much more than that uh, figured out yet. So feel free to use this technique. Maybe let your kids try it. Maybe they'll come up with something cool, you know. I just don't... Uh, I'd rather do landscapes. I don't have the time to do this 
too much. I like doing them for shorts, but... Uh, so just get a bunch of different colors up here. Make my purple a little brighter here. But the thing is, once you get, you got to let this dry for a few minutes. Uh, before you put the black on top, okay? And it'll dry fast because I'm using water to wash it down. And to make it flow better. Just water. I decided to do this live because uh, I didn't want to have to edit the video. So get your colors going in there. I got some orange here. I like orange. Orange and yellow really look good. I kind of, I started realizing if you, you put the yellow around the edges, it, it really shows up pretty good. Uh, the yellow. It kind of like frames the painting in. You know, but this green is bright enough up here. Alright, so there's there's my colors. That's good enough, okay? Just get some colors down. It's all going to get covered with black. <laughs> but hopefully we'll get something, something cool out of here. Here's one thing I did figure out. You could make these really tight lines in here. And I haven't tried to do it yet, but I think... You could make a cool spider web out of it, but like I said, I'm not, I've only done like, I don't know, maybe 10 of them, but for now I'm just using scribble lines. <laughs> but it's a fun, it's fun art, and uh, you got to work quick with the uh, black, uh, because it does... You put the black on and you got to get to work because that black starts to dry, right? So you got to get the design done quickly. Uh, because after a while the black starts to harden and then you can't get the uh, it to scrape anymore. So basically what we're doing, we're going to put a thin layer of black on here while it's wet. This is going to be dry underneath and we're going to scratch our art into it and then the colors show through once you uh you scratch away the black okay that's that's the thing <laughs> that's the art like i said this will be good for your kids if i was going to sell these i'd sell them for like maybe 25 bucks for this size here I just saw someone in the chat room. Sorry, I, I don't have my phone on, so I have to check the iPad here. Yeah, anybody can do this. Uh, hi, Stephanie. Let me see. Make sure you guys sub subscribe. I come up with a lot of cool stuff all the time. Uh... So I'm letting this dry, and then we're going to put the thin layer of black on it, okay? And then we're going to, I'm going to do something like this, okay? We'll get going here in a second, but this has to be completely dry. Now you can use, you can use anything you want to scratch with. You can use a palette knife, okay? You can use, uh, this is what I'm using to put the black on. It's, uh some kind of putty knife I think you just you put the black on really quick you got to put it on fast and then you start scraping your artwork in there okay but this has got to be completely dry underneath there I'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll get started let's see who's in a chat room I'll chat with you Stephia, Stephanie, Moa, hopefully you guys are still in here. Stephanie and uh, Moa, right on. 
<laughs> hang in there hang in there this will takes a while you can't put the black on so this is completely dry or it won't work and I think it's there okay so now it's there so I'm gonna put the black on there right now the black this is acrylic paint now they have this uh, glazing liquid uh, it's supposed to be an extender I put a little bit in that black so what it does it allows the black to stay wet a little longer so you can do your artwork all right let's do something cool Are you ready I'm gonna put the black on now so we can scrape in the uh, we're gonna scrape in some stuff uh, I'll do a few things with this and then I'll use the palette knife to make maybe some spider webs or something so all right I just got a little black on here so I'm gonna I'm gonna put the black on you can put it any way you want and you don't have to fill it all in so I'm gonna come down like this I'll probably leave a space in the middle so we get some of this color to show through and then just fill in some black like this all right that's enough now wipe your knife off or your putty you can use just a paper towel and wipe it clean. Now let's put in some designs in here. I like to start off with big swipes first. Okay. Just something like that at first, you see. You have time. You have time to put stuff in here. Because uh, see, look, see how I it's still uh, wet so the thing is I haven't experimented with it enough to uh, like know what to put in here <laughs> so maybe if you guys give it a try you guys might come up with something cool but now you could make with a uh, palette knife you can make smaller lines in here like this and then do this see that it looks like a web or a net and you can just keep going on top of what you have there and it won't it won't affect what's underneath you can keep building on top okay let me put a few webs over here or a net some kind of net there you go that's all you got to do and I don't have the patience to uh, like actually you could probably put like an eyeball in here or something but or a heart let's try putting a heart see if that works we'll put a heart in here while it's wet there we go there's a heart but like I said I don't have the uh, patience to do this too long but it's fun I think I think kids would like doing this okay but you have to watch them because I, I don't know how toxic this acrylic paint is so if you if you let kids do this I'd make sure you read the uh, I think acrylic paints pretty safe but I'd probably make sure your windows are open for the kids if the kids are doing it. Now this is pretty much the only thing I know how to do so far with this. I just I came up with this last year, but I quit doing it for a while. But you can keep making things on top and then 
you won't lose all that stuff that's way back in there. Uh, let's see, what else can I make here? Uh, you could put a, like a tree in here maybe, straight up. Like that, you gotta, it's already starting to dry, so. These are kind of cool if you, uh, like, whip in real quick like this. There you go. That's enough. That's enough to show you to get started. Now, yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> what are you going to, I got, you can put whatever design you want in there, okay? I just don't have the patience. That's why I put the lines in there. Uh, I do have one heart there, okay? That's for you guys. One heart. But hopefully, I'll leave this posted if you guys want to learn how to do this on your own. It's better to use these neon colors. Or fluorescent because it, it shows through better see how the purple shows through here and the pink and the orange if you use regular colors it might not be as brilliant okay but look at those colors and those are just squiggly lines I mean just imagine if you knew how to do something cool it would look really cool on there. Maybe like an octopus or something, you know? Or a, a water scene with, uh, you know, those things in the water that are like plants and then octopus and some fish. I mean, you could do a lot of stuff with this. I just thought I'd show you guys this and you can build upon it. Right on. Thanks for subscribing. If you subscribe, Stephanie, thanks for watching. Uh, Moa, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. You want to buy one? All right. Well, go go to my uh, my uh, Twitter account. We can talk there. I got a Twitter account under uh, Richard Krejci. It's the same name I use on uh, YouTube. Okay. It's really easy to find. Richard Krejci. There's my last name right there. On X. You could do a big X. How's that? Check out some of my shorts. I did like, uh, like a tic-tac-toe thing on there. I mean... You can do whatever you want. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Have a good one and uh, cheers.